Welcome back, everyone. Investors hoping to shake the market gloom might be looking to inflation relief as a clear rebound indicator. But even reduced inflation may not be enough to bring down interest rates, making value stocks a still attractive proposition for investors. And joining us with more, we've got Chris Breitman, who's the Research Affiliates Chief Executive Officer and Chief Investment Officer as well. Great to have you here with us this morning. Help us break down the thesis here, particularly around some of the value names that you're tracking. Well, we see a uh, terrific opportunity today in value stocks, uh, and that uh, spans um, a number of different uh, sectors, including energy, I'd mention Exxon, Chevron, Marathon. Uh, also, uh, we see some very cheap retailers, including Walmart and CVS, and many financials, Citi, B of A, AIG, and even a few uh, cheap tech names like IBM. And, and Chris, it's Julie here. Does this, um, is this view predicated on sort of continuing where we are and sort of muddling along in terms of the economy, the Fed continuing to raise interest rates and maybe inflation remaining high but not rising at quite the same rate? Well, our models uh, tell us that uh, inflation is not going to be as transitory as maybe the market is pricing. Um, to give you an idea of how we get to our uh, expectation for a 6% uh, return uh, over the coming decade for the US stock market, uh, start with uh, really the primary driver, you know, stocks or growth assets, and we expect about 7% uh, uh, growth in earnings per share. Uh, but the stock market's price so high, its dividend yields only about 1.5%. That gets you to 8.5%. But because the market's so expensive relative to its history, and we, we use a number of metrics, but the Schiller PE or the cyclically adjusted PE is one of the primary indications. And if we just assume that that goes about halfway back to its uh, uh, average, um, that takes about one and a half percent off of the return, getting you down to about a, uh, a six and a half percent uh, um, uh, a 6% or 7% return. Anyway, look at the uh, uh, discount that we now see in the pricing of value stocks versus the total market. Uh, value stocks, of course, uh, should be priced at a discount relative to the market because they have slower growth in earnings per share. But the typical discount that value stocks are priced at is about 50% to 60% of the market's price. And let me uh, explain to you how we calculate that. One thing we don't emphasize is looking at PE ratios be for a couple of reasons. One, uh, earnings per share from a year to year basis is extremely volatile. Two, it's very easy to manipulate. We like uh, to look at more stable relationships, including sales, uh, operating cash flow, uh, distributed cash flow, uh, you know, dividends plus buybacks. Uh, as well as uh, book value adjusted for investment in tangibles. And when we look at all those measures of the, the, the size or the economic footprint of the company uh, relative to its market price, we find that the value stocks typically trade at 50 to 60% of the market's price. Uh, and uh, over the very long run, uh, there's a little bit of uh, value premium provided from that uh, level, but it's kind of a crapshoot over, you know, one, two, three years, whether you're going to outperform the market or not. But today, we're not at normal valuations. Today's value stocks, and, and I just mentioned names. I mean, these are not little tiny uh, 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 risky stocks. These are, you know, blue chip companies are priced at uh, approximately 35% of the market. And just using history as our guide, from these relative prices, value stocks have outperformed the market by an average of 7% per annum over the coming five years. So we see opportunity for uh, low to mid teen returns for uh, a concentrated value portfolio. Hey, Chris, going back to those names uh, you liked, is there a tie that puts them all together? Super cheap PE ratio? Uh, are they working on a specific project that you, that you like? Why do you like all of them? Oh, uh, we just put together a, uh, a, a concentrated value portfolio. It's the value factor sleeve of our multi-factor portfolio. And uh, the the simple way to look at that is we measure the economic size of the company and compare the market price. 
uh, and um, uh, that uh, uh, determines the attractiveness of the stock. So I was just uh, mentioning to you a, a handful of the largest positions in that portfolio. Uh, 